Hi, my name is Swati. Um, today I have chosen two topics. First is composition of a function and the second is inverse of function. So basically we are going to solve two questions based on each. So here, if you understand how to solve question on composition of function and inverse of a function, the rest question you can automatically solve in a similar manner. So let us start with the solution. So in the first one, we have to solve composition of a function and where we have to find f of g and g of f. f of g meaning we have to find composition of f of x of gx and g of f meaning we have to find g of fx. So let us start with the solution. So first we have f of g meaning we can write down this as f of gx. Okay. And now we can write down this as f of gx we are already given 2x plus 3 so therefore we'll just substitute 2x plus 3. Now we have f of 2x plus 3 but we are already given the definition for f of x as x plus 1 meaning if we have here x then we are getting x plus 1 so at the place of x now we have 2x plus 3 right. So since we have 2x plus 3 so this will become if fx is x plus 1 so 2x plus 3 will become 2x plus 3 plus 1 why by definition of fx now this will become 2x plus 3 plus 1 is 4 and this is nothing but f of g so we got the answer for the first one okay so this is the answer and now we'll find g of f so let us check whether g of f is coming same as f of g or not so now we have to find g of f and this we can write down as g of fx. We'll be doing the same thing here. So g and then fx we are already given x plus 1. So this x plus 1 will write here. And now we'll follow here the definition of g of x. So if g of x is 2x plus 3, so g of x plus 1 will become wherever it is x, we have to substitute this value x plus 1. So this will become 2x plus 1. And then here we have plus 3. So that plus 3 I'm writing here. And now this will become 2 into x is 2x plus 2 into 1 is 2 plus 3. And this will become 2x plus 2 plus 3 is 5. So this is the answer of g of f. And here in this case, we are not getting f of g and g of f c, which is not going to matter here. So this is the answer of f of g and g of f. And this is how we are going, going to solve all the other uh, questions based on composition of functions. So if you have understood this method, you can easily solve all the other questions based on this method in a similar way. Okay. Now let us move to the next topic, which is inverse of function. So here we have fx is equal to x upon x plus 1 given, and now we have to find f inverse x. So let us start with the solution. So first of all, we all know that fx we also write down as y. So let us start with let fx is equal to y. So basically, whatever steps we are following here, the same steps we have to follow in all the other questions as well. So that is why I have chosen these two topics, where if you have understood the method to solve you know, these particular questions, rest questions you can completely solve on your own in a similar way. So this is let fx is equal to y. And now we can write down this as since I have taken fx is equal to y, so this equation will now become y is equal to x upon x plus 1, right? And from here, we'll convert in terms of x. Here we have y is equal to x upon x plus 1. Now we'll write down this expression in terms of x. So for that, let us do cross multiplication. So y into x plus 1 is equal to x. And now this will become yx plus y is equal to x. Now, since we have to write down in terms of x, so therefore, x term will write down together. So we can write down this as yx because we are shifting x to this side. So this will become minus x and we are shifting y to this, this side. So this will become minus one. Here we can take x common. So we are getting y minus one is equal to minus y and therefore x we are getting minus y upon y minus one. We can also write down this as minus y upon, I can take your negative common, so this will become one minus y. This negative and negative sign will get canceled, so we are basically getting x is equal to 
y upon 1 minus y. So this is the value of x. What do we have to find here? We have to find f inverse x. So as you can see here, we have taken fx is equal to y, right? Now from here, I can also write down x is equal to f inverse y, right? We can directly write down this or we can just say taking f inverse on both sides. So this f inverse f x will become x and this will become f inverse y. So now we are getting x is equal to f inverse y and this x value I can put here. So therefore this will become f inverse y is equal to y upon 1 minus y. But are we finding f inverse y? No, we are finding f inverse x. So here what do we need to do? We just need to replace y with x. And after replacing y with x, we are through. So replacing y with x, we just need to write down f inverse. At the place of y, we have to write x. So this will become f inverse x is equal to here also, wherever it is y, we have to put x. So this is x upon 1 minus x. And this is the final answer. So this is how we find the inverse question and composition of a function. So one thing that you need to take care is here the function is already 1, 1 and on 2. So therefore I have found the inverse directly. But every time when you do the question, you have to check whether a function is 1, 1 and on 2 or not. Why? Because we know that every function is invertible if and only if it is both 1, 1 and on 2. So every time you have to check the conditions. So I hope you have understood this explanation. Thank you, sir.